Hey guys, today we'll be doing a review of the HTC Evo V 4G. This phone is running on Virgin Mobile's Beyond Talk plan, which gives the phone unlimited data and messaging with 300 voice minutes per month for $35 a month. This phone retails for $299.99, but if you do a little bit of research, you'll find it for cheaper, and major electronic stores like Best Buy will price match. So here are some features on this phone. It is running Android 4.0.3 Ice Cream Sandwich with HTC Sense 3.6. This is Virgin Mobile's first phone to run on Sprint's 4G WiMAX network, which will give you uh, pretty nice internet speeds when 4G is available, and when it's not, you'll be getting 3G EVDO speeds. The phone has a 4.3 inch QHD capacitive display, which is absolutely stunning. It has a 5 megapixel camera that shoots in 2D and 3D photos, and 720p video recording. It has a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera, Bluetooth 3.0, SMS, MMS, and email. You can use your phone's network to enable a Wi-Fi hotspot if you pay an additional $15 per month. Some specifications of the phone include a 1.2 GHz processor, 1 GB of RAM, and 4 GB of ROM, a 3.5 mm headset jack, and up to 32 GB of external memory with a micro SD card. The phone comes with an included 8 GB micro SD card. The phone is HDMI compatible, but you will need to purchase a micro USB to HDMI cable. The Evo V 4G weighs 5.1 ounces and measures 4.8 by 2.4 by 0.46 inches. Its 1730 milliamp hour battery is rated up to 6 hours of talk time and 300 hours of standby time. So let's take a closer look at the phone itself. From top to bottom, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a power button. On the top of the front, you will see the proximity sensor, earpiece, notification LED, and 1.3 megapixel front camera. Here you have the touchscreen, which is a 4.3 inch 960 by 540 QHD LCD display. On the bottom of the front side, you will see four functions, home, menu, back, and search. Going to the right side of the phone, you will see volume up and down rockers, a switch to change between 2D and 3D uh, pictures, and videos, and a camera button as well. On the bottom of the phone, you will see a very small opening where you can insert the 1730 milliamp hour battery and external memory micro SD card. On the left hand side of the phone, you will see a micro USB charging input. And lastly, the back of the phone, besides the HTC letters and Virgin Mobile logo, you will see two cameras and two flashes. These will allow you to take amazing 3D photos and videos, but when you switch to 2D, it will use the camera close to the top of the phone only. All said, the positives are that the phone has a powerful dual-core processor, fast 4G WiMAX speeds, 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich, and a beautiful glasses-free 3D display. Crackling, battery life, and size are my big nits. All in all, the phone is very nice, except for the few negatives, I have really enjoyed using this phone and all of its features. I would like to thank Virgin Mobile for sending this phone out for review. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.